Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Fine, thank you. Excellent. Good night, teacher. Good night, Hello. David. How are you? Hello. How was the weekend? I have to. You have to work on the weekend, Carlita? Yes. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> so sorry, Carlita. That's sad. Right? That's so sad that you have to, to work. But, but next weekend you are free, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only three days. Yeah. But imagine, think about those two, those three days that you will be free next week. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let's see the attendance right now. We are at about two more days to finish, right? We finish on Wednesday. Wednesday. Vamos a ver, Adriana Maria. Here, no here. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Sophie. Hi. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Uh, Anna. Anna, Anna, Cruz Antonio, Cruz, David, present teacher, Eddie Jonathan, Eddie Jonathan, Elmer. <clears throat> Elmer Fabricio, Elsa Cristina, present, Félix Enrique, present teacher, Grace Michelle, Ivonne Marcela, Jennifer, José Alberto, Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Here. Here. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rebecca, Rosy, present teacher, Victor Manuel, present teacher, Claudia Guadalupe, Mauricio, good evening, Hello. present, excellent. Okay, let's see. I'm calling the uh, second time people who were not here at the beginning. Adriana Maria. Ana. Cruz Antonio. Elmer Fabricio. José Alfredo, Rebeca, present teacher, Claudia Guadalupe, okay. 
Well, hmm, we're 14. That's okay. This is our class number 20, 23. <laughs> 23. So we are at one more class. Well, two more classes to finish, right? Check. That's the objective for today. How to learn to learn how to use expressions to clarify a point to learn how to use expressions to clarify a point okay nice so i have a couple of questions for you we are going to go to that point exactly at the end right i have a couple of questions for you. Mm, what is the best way to get customers' attention towards a product? Right, that's the first one. And the second question, yes, let's let me give it a space. And the second question, how would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Okay, those are the two questions we have. What yeah. is, yeah? I, I can say it. Don't tell me that I'm not. <laughs> okay, okay, give me a second. Ah. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. I just make it, made it big just for me. But, hoy sí, hoy sí, verdad? Okay, I have two questions. They are in the manual, page 36. What is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? And the other question, what would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase, to increase awareness, right? How would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness. Mm -hmm. Questions? Questions, questions? The meaning of the word. Awareness. Towards. Towards. In direction to. Oh, okay. In, the, in direction to. Uh -huh. How would you define in if, and then uh, how would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness. <clears throat> Questions? Can I can I say uh, I'm right now I I'm, I'm to warm my house. Oh, how can I use it? For example, uh, not exactly, right? But but when you say uh, my my way my she threw a rock and that was towards the roof of my house in direction yeah. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Let's go to 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 discuss the questions. I'm going to make groups. Let me stop sharing. Remember the questions are on page 36, right? So you can join, uh, you can go to the book and check the questions. Very nice, now we're 16. And there we go. I'm going to make groups of four. Hmm. So you're not too few people. There you go. Join, join. Try to join Elmer. Felix, Eddie. 
Hi, Victor. Victor, I already sent you the invitation. Check if you can enter. Nice. Thank you. Okay, but what is the best way to get customers' attention to our workout? And maybe um, being a name for a brand name. Making, making um, attractive and a beautiful or attractive um, package. Um, I see it to that it the process of marketing that can change the package for colorful colorful package for example or making uh, for you Mario what is the best way the first question I think the uh, best way to to warm the attention of a customer to the product is to uh, make a product a uh, cheaper um, um high with with a high quality um I don't know make a a lot of uh, publicity uh, make make a lot of Post, um, post your product in different social websites. That is going a uh, uh, giving the information of your product. Um, what can they do or something like that? That way, the the customer is going to 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 have interest in your product, or can be can <clears throat> see uh, the all the information about your product. Okay, good, good. <laughs> ¿Qué le pasó? Adriana, María. ¿O era Víctor? Víctor. Soy yo. Se le va a desconectar, Tichi. Pero de repente quedó cortado, Víctor. Ah, la red, quizás. Probably. El... I think a way to to get customer attention is developing campaign developing ads to increase the brand awareness. What a special, special some, some ads that include the best way to get customers' attention towards your product, how will you define how will you define in effective and effective ways to increase awareness? Do we have to do, do we have to do a list of ineffective and a list of effective ways? Julian. What does it? 
How would you define an effective and effective? What do you mean? Or what do you understand by an effective way to express a word? I think that we we can define if a, a strategy or a activity could be an effective or effective because the results that we have in at the end of the exercise i don't know mm. but check <clears throat> I'm how about... much how much or product or or plan mm -hmm. um, could be awareness in the market uh-huh but okay it's good people know your know about your product yeah. is that awareness effective or ineffective Repeat, please, teacher. It will it will depend on on what you do, right? How would you define ineffective awareness or ineffective ways to increase awareness? <coughs> For example, remember what we were saying last time: putting things like announcements for teenagers in Facebook if they do not use Facebook anymore, right? Or sending a advertisements for elderly people in TikTok, right? That would be ineffective because the elderly do not use TikTok and the teenagers don't use Facebook anymore. If you ask them, do you have Facebook? And they say, no, teacher, ya no. We use uh, Instagram, we use TikTok, we use YouTube, right? Or if you want to put an advertisement for teenagers on television, they don't watch television anymore. Children watch television, but teenagers, no, right? So what would be effective ways to increase the awareness so you want people to know your product. What will be effective and what will be not effective? Mm -hmm. Maybe teacher the doing tests, checking the brand slogan, for example. Will that be effective or ineffective, David? It's uh, effective because the uh, window in the test mm -hmm. is to compromise the, the, the quality, for example. Prove. To prove the quality. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Maybe the 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 durability is equal to is equal to the the quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then and the then the the propaganda. Uh, the advertisement. The advertising mm -hmm. uh, is exactly uh, the, the the product. Say the the product. So you don't have a fake advertisement. Yes, I don't have. I don't fake the advertising. Correct. Okay, that's good. I think that so. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Teacher, are you there? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I, I think sometimes I think I, I'm in the, in the limbo again. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> like the last, like the last week. Yes, yes. But you finished, right? Yeah. Yes. I finished. Let's go then. Don't okay. go. Don't go to the depot, Jose Albert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jose Alfredo, hello. Jose Alfredo, no está. Okay, ready. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Y Jose Alfredo. Hola, teacher. Fíjese que todavía no lleva a la casa. Ay, qué barbaridad. Usted es muy vago, ¿eh? Sorry. Where do you go after work? <laughs> that you get too late, Alfredo. Qué barbaridad. Bye, I'm going to share the questions again and check. What is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? Hmm? What, what's the best? There may be many ways, but what, which do you think is the best? We, we think about the best way, teacher, with Rebecca, and we, uh, we believe this, uh, the best way is a, a hard marketing plan or an aggressive marketing plan. Mm -hmm. and and promotions or brand activations promote before the launch okay i think that uh, one of the best way to to get the attention of the customer is uh, making a product uh, that uh, will have a good quality of a product. Um, maybe some maybe a uh, other yeah other topic will be that uh, they are the that product will be a national product if and if that product is national and they and that product have um, a high high quality uh, low price uh, that product will have the attention of all, all the customers that you want because uh, maybe the products that are uh, that come from other countries uh, come with a high price because uh, they will have uh, taxes to pay. But if the product is national, they, they that product don't have to to pay that uh, price. Mm. Believe it or not, Mario, there is a big competence. Uh, between national products and products that come from outside. And the thing is, uh, products that come from outside, yeah, they pay flatters, right? They're cheaping. But there are some products that are not paying some taxes that they used to pay. And that makes a problem for the national products because they cannot compete with the price. Teacher, but in, in, in that idea, uh, in almost all the raw material pay access to. Yes, yes. So maybe so, it's the same. Oh, what, what do you think would be um, a national that we may have that it's good quality, that will be able to to do what Mario was mentioning. I think that the, the US, like horchata, the products that we can do. Okay, la canasta, right? Yeah. Something like that is the name of the, uh -huh. okay. And it, it's very good. What else? Another product? Another product where you, you can say, hmm, I can, Catch the attention of 
Tres entradas para Bad Bunny y muchos premios más. Ahorita Ganate está la con Golden y Golden Extra. Exigí tus corcholata. Ana. Ok, so, if we talk about products that are of good quality, and if we compare them with products from other countries, we can say are better. Coffee? Um, maybe uh, I get, I have one in mind. Mm -hmm. For example, the stairs. Stairs? Uh, stairs. Do you hear uh, the brand Inco? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's Salvadorian. Mm -hmm. It's a good brand. Okay, okay. And they export too. They are ladders. Ladders, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ladders. Okay. My bad. But they are they are Salvadorian, okay. El pollo campero. Yeah. Mm, no, it's Guatemala. Eh? No. Exactly. You sure? It's Salvadorian. They take it for granted that it belongs to them, but mm -mm. The same as Honduran that said that the, the pupusas belong to them, but no. Pollo Campero is Salvadorian. No, Pollo Campero is not from Campero here. Salvador. Campestre. No, Pollo Campero is from Guatemala. Yeah, but Pollo Campestre, yeah. Ah, yeah, Pollo Campestre, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pollo Campero is not from... It it's me. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Pollo Campero is from Guatemala. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. From 1971, it says. And why then, why do people take it as, uh, ah, you know why? Because it was born in Guatemala in 1971, but one year later, it began operations in El Salvador. Yes. Yeah, but it, it is original from Guatemala. <laughs> but we are more proud of that. <laughs> we are more proud of we, what we we take, than we what take what else. Um, we, we, what did you say? We take like ours. Yeah, we take it like ours. That's true. Imagine, pues no. Anyway, I don't like Pollo Campero. <laughs> Why not, teacher? Uh, only the pechuga. Why not? Just the chicken breast. <laughs> only, only the chicken breast. But not the legs, not the east wings. Mm. Okay. A ver, any other product? Then Pollo Campero doesn't count. Another product that you will say it's better than the competition. Mm -hmm. So we can catch people's attention to our product, as you were mentioning, a national product. What is it? I, in, my, in my work area, it's right. Say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, our competitors is um, a Salvadorian brand. Is Mega Color in a paint. Our 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 brand is Gamma Color. Is from Guatemala. Mega Color is from El Salvador. Is the I have never heard of Mega Color. No, uh, it's a good brand. It's, it's, it's a brand, uh, very, very, very hard in, in, a, in a advertising in El Salvador because they not pay, uh, not that, uh, they don't pay uh, taxes. Oh. And, the, and the, the other companies, the other brands, all of out of El Salvador, in the other countries, 
Guatemala, México, eh, de USA, right? Sherwin Williams. Sherwin Williams is from the United States, but in El Salvador, the the deliver is a, a freon. They are the mm -hmm. los dueños de la de, de the la marca. Of the brand. Uh -huh. And uh, the quality the, from Mega Color and our brand, Gamma Color, we have a uh, best quality. Who? You have, gamma Color is better. Is better. But the price is higher. Too. Al almost, it's almost the almost same. same. Uh huh. Okay. And the 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 point is is the advertising. We uh, don't have uh, much publicity because we pay more taxes. They don't pay, uh, pay taxes, and uh, they have a more. Uh, presupuesto. Budget. More. Uh -huh. more budget for advertising. Do we have gamma color in El Salvador? Do you yes. distribute it here? Yes. Where? Um in, in not not the big um hardware store. Okay. It's in, in the in the in the little hardware store. Oh, I see, I see. Like uh, a Zeta? Do you know a Zeta? No? no. Ferretería Zeta. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ferretería Zeta. Ah, what, there is one in, in the place that used to be as a movie. <laughs> in the of San Salvador, right? Yeah, right. In the, eh, what movie? A Zeta, a Zeta, a Zeta the the this the the two the two brands gamma color and mega color oh and what about the quality ah gamma color is 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 the best quality okay but uh, mega color is salvadorian and they use that term for a uh, Ah, ¿cómo es? For, ay. For catching the people's attention. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. catching the people's attention. Okay. This is the point. Nice. But that's the first time. So I had to go to that, that uh, hardware store. I have seen it, but from outside only. I have never entered. Mm-hmm. We go to Freon Vidriepa. Oh, Freon is Sherwin Williams. Uh -huh. And Vidri, uh -huh. Vidri now have Gliden. Gliden, exactly. And, and Corona. Uh -huh, but Corona is not like. And not the beers. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, the paint. Okay, good. Take it easy, Mauricio, take it easy. No Friday, Mauricio. No, not Friday. Beginning the, the week. Okay, <laughs> let's see the next question. How would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Remember, everybody wants to get uh, people's attention, right? And even actors and actresses want people to get aware of them. And sometimes uh, when others make bad publicity of them, they don't worry because they know publicity is publicity. It doesn't matter if it is good or bad, right? So at the end, what they want is this, to increase people's awareness. But wh what do you think will be an ineffective way to increase people's awareness. Uh, 
Anna, Anna told us uh, that uh, uh, in effective way to to well, well in a, the definition effective way to increase your winning is to uh, increase the price of your product. That people know about you because you have increased the price. Uh -huh. Or because you're closing, right? Uh -huh. So they know about you because your product is dying and you're selling it very cheap because it's about to disappear. Okay. Another ineffective way. Maybe change image of the product. Would that, would that be effective or ineffective, uh, Rosy? In, ineffective, teacher. Uh -huh. exactly. That depends if the change is not good. If it is for, for good. Example, if, you, uh -huh. if you have a, a good image, um, maybe you use change and you don't put a, a attention or you don't uh, do a good job maybe that will be negative mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, for example going to uh, sedal uh, sedal changed the image of the bottle right but also uh, made a change in the formula and something that I consider not so good is to make two changes in your product at the same time. Because I used to use, and I know about the product because I used to use it all a lot because my hair is straight. But with the change of the image and the formula, it was like, oh. You feel like uh, you are you was using another product, uh, another brand. Uh -huh. I, 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 I are, totally disappointed with the change. We are, we are talking about in in Europe. Uh, we are talking about a uh, Pepsi Blue. Uh huh. Uh huh. That that for me that's a negative one. And what do you think about coffee cola? Cafe. Uh, I don't try it. It's too bad that it's too bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not sugar. <laughs> yeah, it is very sweet. It's the same thing. Okay. With, the only... without, without the sugar. It's the same thing without the sugar. No, no, it has sugar. It is very sweet. Yeah, no, no, no. They they use uh, natural flavor, but they don't have sugar. I don't know, but yeah. it's very sweet. What it that what it has less maybe I would say is soda. But, uh, but it is very very sweet. Whatever they use to sweeten the the product, the product is very sweet. Yeah, but uh, not in all the case they will have sugar. For example, uh, my company, the company that right now I'm working, we distribute or we make um, a product that it is um, substitute for a sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, that product is uh, focusing in the person that uh, has the diabetic. Uh, what, what is the substitute of sugar? Uh, for example, uh, the, we make that, that product from <coughs> the leaf of hocote. I don't know how uh, they uh, how they made the, the product, but uh, uh, the only thing that I know is that that product is, is uh, hundred percent uh, natural and um, don't uh, have a uh, sugar. It is a 100% uh, substitute of a sugar. Uh, it may have a, a weird taste uh, in the flavor, but uh, 
uh, trust me, it is it is a uh, hundred percent sure. It's free or sure. Okay. Okay. Fructosa. Okay. 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 I guess. Teacher, I want to add. Uh -huh. A comment. I want to add a comment about the uh, ineffective way to increase awareness is, for example, low the price. I think when a company low the price is communicating the product is don't getting is isn't getting the its expectative in sales. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. That's all. So you say we we are not selling this product unless it is, there is an special event, right? So you can organize an special event. Yeah. That we affect it. Yeah. Organize a uh, an special event where you can promote the product and say, okay, just for today, we will lower it only for today or just this week. But then uh, people know that the product will go back to the price. Uh -huh. Yes. For example, right now, if you go to the Pensa de Don Juan or Walmart, you will find many products that are two, three per, no, come on, see, three per two. So you buy two products, they give you three, right? Or you pay two, but you receive three. Mm -hmm. And that is a, not just one brand, but many brands are participating in that. So that way you can say, okay, it's, it's, it's a promotion of the supermarket, not just of a product that is about to disappear, right? So you have to be very careful how you send the message to people. So people get to know if it is, is something that is an offer or if it is a product that is about to disappear, right? Okay, well, today we are talking about this topic. Here we're talking about clarification. What is clarification? Mm -hmm. What is clarification? Who can tell me? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No idea. Aclaración. Mm. Said in other words, <laughs> yeah, okay. For example, if uh, you're talking about something, right? And suddenly uh, people don't get the idea, then you can say, well, in other words. Like, like to define something. Mm -hmm. Define or, or, or say the same thing, but in other words, right? In a clearer way, we say euphemismos. I me poncho because I don't remember Spanish. <laughs> what is an euphemismo, Mauricio? A veces, eh, tal vez lo usamos para reducir un significado. Por ejemplo, cuando tal vez es algo malo y no queremos que se oiga tan malo, ocupamos una palabra menos, pero que significa lo mismo. Ok, ok, ok. No, no. Here, what we want is to, when we use clarification, what we want is to make, to express exactly the same, no making it uh, softer, right? But saying the same thing, so that it can be understood by people, right? In many cases, uh, we we do a, 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 um, a pause or a stop in a conversation mm -hmm. for uh, you don't know, get it that I said. Exactly. And, and I, I repeat the same sentences, but in other words. 
Exactly. exactly. That is the clarification. Exactly, that's clarification. Okay. And there are some expressions that we use, right? For example, the ones that you see here in red. In other words, that is, simply put, namely, or this means, or which means. We use these words when we want to clarify something that we said, but we want to say it again in, in words like, are easier to understand, right? Also, we have, sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation or exemplification of your ideas as we speak. So if we want to do that, we want to clarify, explain or exemplify uh, our ideas, the words that we use are, in other words, that is, simply put, and that way uh, we can get our point clearer, right, to the other people. So you say, you know what, simply put, and then you say that in other words that are easier, right? You explain whatever you're saying, but in easier words, words easy to understand. And simply put is is like an Spanish, simplemente poner. Ajá, poniéndolo simple, right? Uh, uh -huh. uh, Imagine that. Namely. Main, namely, eh, como nombrándolo. Uh -huh. Por I got llamados. Llamados. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Because here I'm talking about Facebook, about social networking site. Llamado, o sea, como. Llamado, o, pues, o sea, no me entiende de qué eh, networking site I'm talking. I'm going to tell you which one, right? That's then you use uh, namely. Mm -hmm. Look at the examples. One way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. So that's the first idea, right? In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. So I'm telling exactly the same things, but using other words, right? So if you say, one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. What are online channels? Papos. In other words, write a blog. Write a blog that informs, that entertains, and educates people. Right? So instead of saying just publish online channels, publish through online channels. What are online channels? Upload. Yeah. Now I know the blogs are not that popular as they used to be when the manual was written, right? Now people, we we have gotten to a to a new custom, right? That we do not read longer information. We go to read short information. And that's why uh, many channels that used to exist that people used to do use are not uh, followed anymore. And that is one of the case of blogs. They have become more for education, right? Sometimes you will have uh, blogs for to, uh, for communicating okay, about touristic place of a place of, of some country. But it's not as it, they used to be, right? Because blogs used to be very popular, and you will you were looking for some information, and suddenly that sent you to a blog, and then you went to the blog, and you can find a lot of information there, and this is sending you to another blog. But now it's like blogs. Tell me here, how many of you read blogs? Hmm? 
Only Mauricio. I read and I wrote. You wrote a blow. Yeah, me too. Me too. I wrote a blow. That I guess it disappeared already because I haven't visited for a couple of years. So have you used, have you read any blogs in the last year? No? No, no, no teacher. We use uh, probably okay, um, websites, right? We use websites and they still exist and they are renovating information. And that's why we get to use more website than, than blogs. Because the thing is that now people look for something where they can interact. And in a blog, just you can come and write comments, but probably the writer of the blog will not come and read your, your message, right? So there is no much interaction. Now let's see. How would you rewrite this sentence? One way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, okay, modernizing. In other words, um, write a uh a text and publish in maybe Facebook. A text? Do you think people will feel like reading a text? Maybe it's the target uh, are people that are reading. What do you want to sell? A book? I'm no. sorry. I, I, okay, I just, I'm just asking. Uh -huh. Maybe if you are trying to sell um, a cell phone, mm -hmm. and maybe some persons read uh, specific specifications, you can write a little longer text, explain like where your cell phone. Short reviews? Yeah, like that. Okay, okay. Or making a video. Okay, in other words, so make a video. What else? What I'm asking you is to modernize this. Porque ya no nos funciona write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Esto ya pasó de moda. Bueno, dejemos los informs, probably yes, pero, pero lo del blog ya no. Todavía cuando tomé la maestría, medio, medio, todavía. Pero ahorita ya no. Ya los blogs ya, ya, ya van afuera. Ajá. So. Do you an influencer? A new? A influencer. You an influencer? Ok. What else? And check, so if you say, one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, use an influencer that informs, entertains, and educates about the use of your product, right? Okay, now let's see. Uh, number two, you can increase your rating as an expert uh, and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is, what is a podcast? Record your talks and allow your customers to download it. I guess that is still right? People are selling you and they, they make a video on, on YouTube. You start watching the video. They say, you can do this. You can lose weight. You can gain money. You can do whatever. So they do them about something that will catch people's attention. And at the end, 
they finish selling you a podcast, right? Okay, so that is very, very common. If you want to know about more about this, download this or clicking more. And when you click in all my video. Uh-huh, exactly. And at the end, they finish selling you something, right? A ver, let's change it. Let's change it. You can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by substitute. By instead of developing a podcast, what can you tell me? Um, doing a live. Doing an alive. Uh huh. An alive video, but that sería me. Uh huh. By yeah. doing an alive video, that is record your. Okay. Uh, your talks, but maybe you you as uh, doing a monologue. Uh huh. That is record your talks doing or talking in like a monologue. See, so what you do here is that you give me the definition of this. Yeah, that's when you use that is. El Daris está dándome la definición de esto. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Got you. Okay. Now, check number three. Today's customers are looking for warranties. Simply put, Exceptional service after they have purchased your product. What is simply put defining the warranty? So today's customers are looking for warranties. What are warranties? Guarantee. Exceptional service after they have purchased your product. And you say, they are looking for warranties. Okay, but poniéndote lo simple, pues. They want an exceptional service after they have purchased your product. Yes? You're telling exactly this in other words. If somebody tells you warranty, what, what do you mean by that? Okay, putting it simple or simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product. Yes? Teacher, uh, in this case, that is the uh, exemplification or explanation. In el simple, that would be an exemplification. Mm -hmm. mm, sure. okay. Another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking. Example. What is an example of a social networking? A Facebook group. Facebook, namely Facebook. Mm -hmm. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This means that is an explanation, you see, that you must focus on, satisfy, on satisfying customers' needs. So what I want you to see is that depending on what you want, yeah, depending on what you want to convey with to the people, hi, mouse, where are you? Here, if you want to make clarification, explanation, or exemplification, that is the types of words that you will use. That will help you communicate better with people, right? Any question there?
Mm -hmm. In the number five, teacher, can we use in other words? Mm, the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. In other words, think. No. No le quita el hat. Think. Uh -huh. You might focus. focus on satisfying customers. Yeah, you can. No problem. Okay. No problem. Okay. You can move all of them. You can move them, right? Depending on what you want to convey. Mm -hmm. Any other question there? No, yes. Clear like the horchata. Like the chocolate. <laughs> Vaya. Uh, what you're going to do here, I'm going to send you. Hey, no. Um, <laughs> attendance first. And then I will send you to the groups. What you're going to do there is to look at the sentences and introduce or put or connect the ideas using a clarification word or phrase. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Eddie? Present teacher. David? Present teacher. Nice. Elmer Fabricio. Sorry, es que a veces leo al revés. Elmer Fabricio. No está Elmer Fabricio. Nice ability. Sí. Y tú, mira, es un niño. Ya les he dicho a los niños... Hijo, ¿y por qué me pone primero el segundo apellido fue el primero? Y soy yo la que está leyendo al resto. Pero leo de aquí, de atrás para adelante, de atrás para adelante. O china, o japonesa. De Así le están el nombre. <ríe> sí, yo leo así. De aquí para acá, de aquí para allá. O de abajo para arriba, o de arriba para abajo. O si usted tiene su cuaderno así. Hay de crops. In presential classes, for example, if you have, uh, vaya, you have the notebook like this, I can perfectly read it. I have no problem. Se le puedo leer así, pero se le doy vuelta. Yo, no, no, it's not necessary. Porque yo leo de cabeza. No sé, no sé cómo, por qué. But I do. <laughs> that's, that's something that I, I do and, and without noticing sometimes. Vaya, Elsa Cristina. Present. Eh, Félix. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Yvonne. Jennifer. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. ¿Ya llegó? No, ¿Qué? todavía no. Uy, qué barra. ¿Quién no va en moto? En carro, pero todavía no. Ah, por eso, por eso. En moto y agregado. Vea. Carla, Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Here. Mario me duerme. Nubia. Nubia. Present teacher. Ajá. Ese micrófono. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Yes, <laughs> Victor. Claudita. Present teacher. And Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice, nice. Elmer no here. Y Eddie tampoco. Okay. Fashion. Teacher, yo aquí estoy. ¿Quién aquí estoy? Yo, Eddie. 
Ay, pero no me dijo present, le dije. Le, di, le dije, pero en eso, eh, es que me tardé en responder y en eso habló el otro compañero y quizás ahí no nos oyó. No, bueno, no me escuchó. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ok. ¿Por qué se ha perdido tanto? No me he perdido, estaba en las últimas clases. Y... Hasta le mandé las tareas pendientes hoy, unas. Ok. Uh -huh. Traté de estar en las dos horas últimas hoy, en lo que falta. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Trato, teacher, trato. <risa> sí. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Va, ok. Aquí. Okay, vaya, going back to the point, check. What you're going to do here is insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. One, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate only ad online advertising, social networking sites, simply put. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. Allí ya no se lo doy. Eh, solo le doy el primero, ¿verdad? Brand recognition happens when a customer is able to identify a certain product or service by viewing the product's logo. These brands have become well-known They have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. And number five, you have to publish high quality content by increasing valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. So what you have to do there is check the, 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 the words that we use for clarifying and put the, correct, the, the right one, right? In the sentences. Mm -hmm. Questions? No questions. No teacher. Vaya pues. In your manual, no se lo voy a compartir porque ahí está en el manual, eh, page 35. Page 35. La, 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 la. Ya lo vieron. Sí. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. I'm going to send you, I'm going to make different groups because now you are more. Espero no, no arrepentirme de ponerlos en grupo de tres. Vale, allá vamos. Try to join. Es que a veces cuando hago más grupos, eh, Zoom se tarda más en convertir todo. Vamos a ver. Go. Go, go, go. Claudita, Víctor, David. ¿Quién es Calderón Ernesto? Calderón Orellana Ernesto Mario. 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 Mario, 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 Mario. Mario, hello. Mario, hello. Mario, wake up. Victor, try to join. Mario. Mario Ernesto me ha puesto todos los nombres al revés.
¿verdad? La... Ah, sí, sí, ahorita lo voy a buscar. Mario, arreglese su nombre, que todo me lo ha puesto al revés. Calderón de Llana, Ernesto Mario. A la hora, yo no soy quien recoge la tendas. A la hora que recojan la tendas, van a decir que no es, no es. Vaya, vaya. El nombre, oye, ¿quién es Calderón Orellana, Ernesto Mario? No, como, como dijo que lo podía arreglar al revés, dije yo, dije yo, vamos a probar a ver si es cierto, dije yo. No, pues sí, yo puedo, pero lo que recuerda la tenda, no, ahí le voy a poner que a ver quién es. Vaya, ahorita la cambio, ahorita. ahorita. Okay. ¿Quién es Sofía? ¿Ya? Teacher, yo creo. Eh, yo creí que había mandado las preguntas por WhatsApp. Están en el manual, Eddie. Uy, uh, yo como con el teléfono aquí. Ahorita lo comparto, yo no se preocupe. Vaya, gracias. Montes, Montes. Gracias. ¿En qué página están? 35. Page 35. The previous one. Allí, allí. Mm -hmm. One way to increase trial work. Or tips. Oh, this, right. Number seven? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. To clarify a point the points in this are the necessary to draw the clause and phrase to build. The one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising for social networking. Hmm. Uh, like we we need to use like in other words that is simple right um yeah. ah and that get in this in this part they give, give us the example right like simple in one way to increase power is in is to generate online advertising simple put social network design That is the sample. Uh, okay. That will make sense. So maybe the second, the number two will be brand recognition is the, is a very important element of brand awareness. And yes, I have, I have, I have a doubt. <laughs> that is. Also, Reconocimiento de marca. In other words, will be in this part. In other words, the customer element of that's me, the customer. No, 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 no. Creo que mejor es in other words. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the customer knows that a particular brand exists, uh, that's better. Yes. Brand recognition happens when a customer is able to identify a certain product or service. Um, and then you said all other... Uh, Other words, the customer knows that a particular brand exists. Yeah, yeah, but is is the, the the number three? Okay. Brand recognition happens when the customer is able to identify a certain product or service. Mm 
Let me think. Oh, hmm. Hmm, maybe maybe he could be in our box. Uh, that's it. That is yeah. Yeah. That is that is that is view in the product logo. This brand have become well known. They have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Uh, creo que aquí sí es this mean. This La última, the number five, the example de Rio. The this brand has become well known. This means they have replaced the common terms for similar product in este. este va aquí. Simply put such a network es como otro significado, pero es únicamente ponerlo ahí. Ay, solo que no puedo ver. One way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put such a network inside. Brand recognition, pero ¿cómo lo vamos a ver? Como lo muevo, como lo muevo. They are the same of the ones that are in the manual, Victor. Are in the manual, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe there it becomes easier to, for you to write. Page. 35. Page 35. Ah, Ahí el dos está abierto. Okay. Okay. One way. Simply put, social networking's ah brand recognition is very important element of brand awareness. Como simplemente poniendo social network networking sites. Uh -huh. Pero lo que pasa es que, es que no sé si puede existir o dos veces, ¿por qué? <coughs> In other words, that is, that is, no. That is, okay, no. simply put, it's okay there. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. No, you finished. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. Elsa, we can read it one. The, this one, the, the sentence. The, the, statements, the, the statements. Okay, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put social networking sites. Brand record, brand. Recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the, consum the consumers know that a particular brand exists. Okay. 
Félix quiere. Hi, teacher. Hi. What do you think? Hey. Uh, just okay. change number three. Uh-huh. Just change number three. The other three are okay. Okay. That's it. Number three. I... Number three. No, the other one. What? Yo sé que no es number three. Mm, no, teacher is. It's down. Ah, pues number two. That... Number two. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. uh, number, number two. two. That. This one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Según yo, ese era con el número 3. Mm, number 2 pusimos. Mm. Y lo hemos puesto abajo. Ok. No, teacher. Mm -mm. No, es in other words. No, no, in other words. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. In other words. Es que pensé que se pertenecía al 3 porque está más cerca del 3 que del 2. Es mal cálculo, Ticha. <risa> Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí sí. Tuve más, me subió mucho ya vea. Hmm. Más. Sí. sí. Le tomamos captura porque esta cosa no guarda. Sí. Vaya, de tres. Brand recognition uh -huh. happens when a cost consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. Uh -huh. That is by viewing the product's logo or is that, a, is that a definition? O es un ejemplo. Es un ejemplo. But in an example, can use namely or that is. Name. No, that is. Namely. Namely. Name. Es que that is and this means suena más para definir o ex explanation. Uh -huh. mm. Namely. 
Namely. William Ross. Lo voy a ir a revisar. <laughs> yeah, through the computer. <laughs> they, co they come to be almost the same. When you say na namely, is that is to say or to be specific, right? Mm. To be specific. No. No, no, no lo tomamos literalmente. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Miren, voy a ir a ver yo. Bye. Cualquier cosa grita, teacher. <laughs> Estoy durmiendo. No puedo mantener los ojos abiertos. That's, it's a very strong smell, but I hope it's not in my house, right? Yeah. I guess. Okay. I guess it's in the in the gas station that is near. Ah. Mm -hmm. But hey, Baya, you finished. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Okay, teacher. Okay. Nice, nice. But let's see, we said the first one, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. <laughs> Simply put, and that simply put will be here, right? Simply put. No, no, ve, al volante. Simply put, <laughs> not making research. Okay, simply put social networking sites. And number, number two, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. Mm -hmm. Yes. In other words. In other words. Pero que exagerado como huele a In other words, the cost, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. Namely? Mm -hmm. Namely? By viewing the product logo. Exactly. These brands have become well known. This means mm -hmm. they have 
place the common terms for similar products in our language. Exactly. You have to publish high quality content. That is? You have to publish high quality content that is by creating ese by no has estorbo. Simple put. Mm, simple put. Simple. Yeah. Simple put. Fíjense que a veces una palabrita que esté por ahí ya no nos deja poner otra frase. Simple put. By creating valuable content to be introduced to new audience. Okay. Um, we're going to do one exercise together. And then I'm going to send you again to the groups. Check. We have here a couple of sentences. And what you're going to do is use these phrases. I mean, in other words, in this case, that is to say, what I mean is, to put it another way, to put it in another, aquí falta un in, to put it in another way, espere, <laughs> to put it in, in another way, Me comí. Ahí está. To put it in another way, put it simply, simply put, in a nutshell. Nutshell, ese significa poniéndolo en la menor cantidad de palabras posibles. Right? That's in a nutshell. Then in one word, this means in other terms, said another day, another way. Okay, those are uh, the phrases that we are going to use. And then uh, we will check. You have four sentences there. Complete them with one of the phrase from the first, uh, from the box on top. Mm -hmm. says we need to pay for their work for the material and the permissions In other terms? In other terms. Don't, ah. Uh, the, the first for me is put it simple. Simply. To put it simple. What I mean is? I was thinking about this one. And the first. Mm -hmm. We need to pay for their work for the material and the permission. Podría ser también this means. You may have one, more than one option here for each sentence. You can also say this means it's going to be very expensive but you decide. Teacher, uh, the meaning uh, for me, mm -hmm. when you say another way, uh, when you say that's me. Well, it should. Uh, in, this case, in this case. In which case? In this case, in the, in the first. 
we need to pay for the work for the material and the permissions in this way or this case no for me uh, the meaning changed a little when you put another way ah, ha, 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 ha. Sí. In the first sí. then then you put the this mean or put it simply what do you think i think I in think... in other terms in other terms we need to pay for the work mm -hmm. for the material and the permissions in other terms it's going to be very expensive, but you decide. In other terms, okay. uh -huh, I like it. In other terms, it's like saying in other words, right? It's similar. In other terms, it's going to be very expensive, but you decide anyway you will pay right? <laughs> they visited netherlands germany austria france italy greece spain and the uk in a nutshell hmm? this in a nutshell. nutshell okay in a nutshell What does phrase mean? In less words, the less words possible. Oh, okay. In a nutshell, they visited most of Europe. O oh, también podría, podrían decir, simply put, they visited most of Europe. Aha, uh -huh. let's see number three. Or this means? This means, exactly. This means they visited Europe. Okay, chicken tit sweets, most vegetables and fruit, but, bread, ice cream, but, bread, tortillas, Santa tamales. Here. Hola. But if this exercise allows more than one option, mm -hmm. how how do we how we will do with the platform? Ah, no, eh, los que le van a salir en la platform son los anteriores. In the, son... in the platform, not are these. I finished the platform today and no oh, are oh. these. Ah, va. Ah, pues okay. estamos salvados. Nah. <laughs> okay. But could be. Who knows? In the, in the first unit. Eh, of next. What, of... what car? Huh? What hard and in the first unit in the what was a homework that was difficult? Ah, the first unit was difficult, yes, that's true. But they always leave the easy for the last. Yeah. By a checking. In here you have in other words, in other terms, it's similar, right? In a nutshell or in one word are very similar. Put it simply or simply put are very similar. Yeah. That is to say is similar to say what I mean. See? So there are words that are be, that mean the same. But remember what we were talking. I don't know if it was with you or not that we were we have said before that it is very important to use different uh, phrases for avoiding repetition okay vaya vamos a ver number three she can't eat sweets most vegetables and fruit bread ice cream red meat tortillas and tamales but it's simple. Put it simple. Put it simply. 
Or simply put? Simply put. Put it simply. Simply put. She can't eat anything. I publish it. Simply put. But imagine it's any fruit. <laughs> no vegetables, no fruit. Imagine. <laughs> okay, so simply put, she can't eat anything. Okay. A ver, chicos. She's going to be disappeared. Ah? Adriana. She's going to disappear. Sí. Que come water. Only drinks water. Okay, she complained about the weather, the wind, the dust, and the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. She complained about the weather, the wind, the dust, and the food. What it means, or that is to say? That is to say, she complained about having come here. Okay. Do you like that one? Sí. That is to say. Qué triste, ¿verdad? Somebody that complains about everything. Okay. Let's see the next one. They found all the traffic lights red, running to a lot of traffic jams. Found a car accident and were fined by the police. What would you do? Would you use? In other words, all this means. Vamos a ver. They found all the traffic lights red, running to a lot of traffic jams, put a car accident, found a car accident and were fined by the police. In other words, ¿sí? ¿verdad? Yes, in other words, yes. it was a terrible day. In other words, push it on. Bye. Okay, he came up with a lot of excuses. That's me. That means, exactly. Very nice. Y ahí no puede usarse simple, simple put. Eh, no. Porque eso significa que no me va a ayudar. El simple put es para explicar algo en una forma más sencilla. Algo que mencionó, pero lo va, lo va a explicar en una sola forma más sencilla. Pero aquí no, aquí está diciendo qué es lo que significa eso. Right. Dice, oh, en number five, I can use say another way. They found all the traffic lights red, ran into a lot of traffic jams, found a car accident, were fined by the police. Another way. Say another way. Saying in another way. Um, or to put it in another way. Ah, the last one. Yeah. Said, said it in another way. It was a terrible scene. Sí. Sí. Yeah, that can be postponed. In another way. Mm -hmm. See, a ver, number seven, the price is high, the quality is low, and it's scarce, scarce. The price is high, the quality is low, and it's scarce. Nobody will buy that product. That means mm -hmm. 
Igual que el anterior. Put it simple. This means. Put it simple. To put it simple. Yeah. Or oh, in this case. The uh, maybe not. No, and it is and it's a scar. Put it simple. Put it simple. Somebody would be. Mm -hmm. I agree with right. Mauricio. To put it simple. Thank you. Yo creí que era Victor. Ah. Simple. Me cambió el nombre. Qué raro. <laughs> pues ya faltaba eso. Vaya, put it simply, nobody will buy that pro. Mary is tall, beautiful and smart. In other words? In other words, she's the she's perfect. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. In other words, she's perfect. Okay. Miguel is polite, responsible, punctual, hardworking, and efficient. That's me. Mm -hmm. That means he's the perfect worker. I means. Yes. Okay. ¿Verdad que está fácil? Yes. Así <laughs> como Quiero ver. Yeah, we still have one more. Before we <laughs> okay, it was really dark. There was a terrible storm. A tree was uprooted. Eso que se salió de todo con toy raíz and blocked the road. This car broke his car broke down. Again, it was really dark. There was a terrible storm. A tree was uprooted and blocked the road. His car broke down. Simple put. Simply put. Mm -hmm. Okay. Simply put, it was a nightmarish night. A ver, 11. He was mean, rude, ruthless, and fool. Les parece in one word. Ya? Yes, in one word. In one word. Uh -huh. That's in one word. In one word, he was a scoundrel. We're going to work together, but we're going to make our own contracts. Mm -hmm. We are going to work together, but we're going to make our own contracts. In this case? Mm -hmm. Well, that is to say. I like this one. What do you think about this one? Mm -hmm. What I mean is... Mm -hmm. So we are going to work together, but we're going to make our own contracts. 
What I mean is each of us is going to generate its own income. What I mean. So they won't share. Okay, the lady lied from the beginning and stole a lot of money. What do you need to complete that one? The lady lied from the beginning and stole a lot of money. That's mean she's a cunning woman. Uh huh. That means. Uh, you, know that. <laughs> that. you can say that or which, which means. She's a conniving con woman. And the last one, from the first day to start earning a lot of money, by the end of the week, you have made hundreds of dollars. From the first day, you start earning a lot of money by the end of the week you have made hundreds of dollars. Temple code. Hmm? Simply put. Simply put, okay. Simply put, that is a good business. Okay. Estoy escribiendo jeroglífico yo. Vaya, questions here, no questions. Questions? No, teacher, no questions. Bashan, now. Can we go to sleep? <laughs> Can we go to sleep? Este, um, almost. Yeah, okay, here is. Este, I'm, I'm going to give you an assignment. I'm going to give you an assignment. You know what is an infographic? Not it. No. An infographic is este como le digo. Una investigación. Ah. It's a like a ay que, que no se los puedo enseñar, esperen. Gráfica con dibujito, ¿no? Sí. Vaya. <laughs> sí, vaya. It's a visual image, so it's just a chart, uh -huh. it's a chart or a diagram where you represent information or data. Yes. So what you're going to do here is an infographic in which you're going to share the benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. So which are the benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness? As a, a good characteristic about the infographic is that it has colors, it can have pictures, you don't need to use too many letters, right? Not too many letters, so you write short ideas in an infographic. And that's what makes it attractive, right? That the information is short and easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Yes. That will be your assignment. And tomorrow, we will share it uh, at the beginning of the class, okay? So you will be sharing your advertisement. Uh, well, your infographic, that's an infographic, right? About the benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. If you remember at the beginning of the class, we were talking about brand awareness, right? And how important it is that people know about your brand 
and what can be effective or ineffective. And one effective way of making people know about your brand is, is, is making infographics and sharing them, right? But this infographic that you're going to do, what will give me is information about benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. Remember not to be just okay, two, three benefits, right? Put some colors, put some picture and make it attractive to the eye because that's the principal polo, uh, that's the principal characteristic of an infographic. Questions? Can we go now? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Vamos a ver. Um, eh, Adriana María. Present teacher. Ana, Adriana, Sofía. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. No está Ana. Cruz Antonio. Presente. Uy, saben que todo el mundo se fue. <ríe> Como los que eran de beginners ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Nosotros hemos quedado. Eddie. Present teacher. David. I mean, present teacher. <ríe> Sorry, David. Acabando besos, teacher. Qué barbaridad. Qué barbaridad, qué barbaridad. Elmer Fabricio, no here Elmer today. Elsa Cristina. Present. Eh, Félix. No hay Félix. Grace, Michelle. Yvonne. Jennifer. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo fue. Carla Lorena. Present Mario. Nubia. Present teacher. Oye, está bien calladita Nubia. Cansada, teacher, pero aquí estoy. Vaya, vaya. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Este, vaya. Good night. Good night. So, una cosita. Check, please, the platform and see if uh, you are missing too many things to do. Empiecen a ponerse al día por hoy. Y another thing. Uh, as you are 22, today we are on class 23. The space is open. Anybody who wants to stay today for the one-on-one? -on -one? Who wants to stay? Más rápido nos vamos ir corriendo, tichamas. Anybody who wants to stay? For the one-on-one. -on -one. Well, do not forget your infographic and tomorrow, right? We will listen to some of you sharing. Have a good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. 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 See you, see you. Bye. Bye.